Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part of drawing a cobweb or a spider web. And I did these three with the polygon tool, and that was the first video. Then I'm gonna now I'm gonna draw this one without the polygon tool, and I think it looks a lot better. I think it looks a little more natural. Now, a couple of things you need to think about. I'm gonna use 10, like I used in the deal, just so they'll be the same. You'd really want maybe an odd number of deals so the lines wouldn't be you know, so perfect because the cobweb, even though they are pretty perfect, they're not perfect. So I'm holding down the control button and I'm drawing a, a perfectly straight line so it'll be a parallel. Now I'm going to make a copy of it, so control D. I'm going to click on it again and get my rotation skew and I'm going to move my rotation skew to that node. I'm going to rotate this 18 degrees. I'm going to click back on my original. I'm going to double click. I'm going to move my rotation to the edge. And this time I'm going to rotate it uh, 342 degrees, which is 360 minus 18. Then I'm going to take my two point line and just kind of anywhere. And I'm going to go ahead and hold down my control button so it'll be at a right angle. Then I'm going to get my shape tool. I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to right click on my mouse and I'm going to turn it to the curve. I'm going to bring in an indexing line. Well, evidently I didn't start in the middle. So you really need to be better to start in the middle. So we'll just move all this over to the middle. And for the video, that's going to be close enough. It's always easier to start in the middle. I draw everything in the middle of the page. Then and you'll see why I brought in the indexing line. And then about in the middle, you turn it to a curve. Just swoop it down a little bit. Now, this takes a little bit of time, but I think it's better. Control D. And just bring it down. And then bring them to where you want to stop. Now you have to take the virtual segment delete key. Because uh, I don't know of any way you can actually weld this. And... Uh, so this is, by the time you figure out which weld is going to work, uh, you could have this done. And if I was working for the month on this on my own, I would probably be zooming in. Now, I'm going to take this line away. Now I'm going to control G to group these together. And now I'm going to put them in the center of the page. It's still not going to be perfect because this line's probably past there, but I don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to control D to make a duplicate. I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to put my rotation in the node and I'm going to rotate it 18 degrees. Well, that didn't work. Oh, I need 36 degrees. 18 was the other one a while ago. 18, which was a half. So 36 duplicate. I think that looks a lot better. This particular one might not be dead on. And it's and this is what I kind of like about it. Uh, your lines aren't going to be perfect, but a cobweb's not perfect. You could make these perfect. But since I, I kind of, you know, sloped it myself, and then if you did not like, you know, the tips on it, you can always remove the tips. And it's not, um, you know, the best looking cobweb in the mo anymore, but you can change it, make it thicker, you know, go through here. I made it 500 points just because the cobweb is going to be thin anyway, but you can make the whole thing thicker. Anyway, hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.